Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, the premier source for Second Amendment news. If it is Second Amendment news you are after, you will find it here every single day, many times, multiple times a day. So check back often because YouTube seems not to be able to keep up with their notifications. And if you think that the Second Amendment is more important than Joe Biden's feelings or anybody else's for that matter, like this video and subscribe down below. Thank you. Today's video, real quick, brought to us by Blackout Coffee. I'm one of the owners. If you love coffee, check us out. We're made in America by Americans. We do the whole process. And with Valentine's Day approaching, we have uh, a code for you. It's called, called it's 15LOVE. You can save 15% off everything in the store site-wide. And we got a couple cool Valentine's Day bundles, packages, and uh, you can check them out down below. It's blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG. I want to tell you all today about one of the safest states in this country, not just last year, not just the last couple years, every year since the founding of the United States of America, okay? Every year, Vermont has always been one of the safest states. However, the anti-gunners and the Democrats have slowly taken control of this state, and now they're instituting something that Vermont never really had and hasn't had a need for it, gun control. Vermont was the one state that never had any restrictions about permits or any of that crazy stuff and before it was called constitutional carry, look this one up, check me, it was called Vermont carry. Early on, when the constitutional carry movement started, it was called Vermont carry because Vermont, there were no restrictions, people had their rights, government stayed out of people's businesses and their pocketbooks and their daily activities, and they never had a crime problem. They still don't. But if this bill I'm gonna show you will make you think that it's crazy, and I'm here to poke holes in it so that people in Vermont know what's coming because there's a super majority of Democrats in Vermont now. And even though Governor Phil Scott is a Republican, they have enough to override his veto. And this bill is no bueno. It's Bill S4. It looks to do nine things. Nine things. Numbers are rough today. Now they're sprinkling in a couple other things like, oh, we're going to stop human trafficking and we want to go after like drug houses. Because who would vote against that stuff, right? That's the trick they're playing right now. But they're starting to inject gun control into Vermont, and it's not needed. There were 14 murders in the whole state in the entire year of 2020. The last year, the full uh, numbers have come out. And I know that it hasn't increased drastically to the point where it's even close to the city of Chicago, where all the gun control is. But Vermont, beware. And the rest of the country that has constitutional carry beware. Now I'll have a link to this bill down below so you can see it specifically if you live in Vermont and you want to use this for ammunition in your conversations, whether you're informing somebody or you're calling somebody. Now I'm just going to jump to the nine things that it's going to do if this were to pass. And like I said, super majority and they have enough to override the governor's veto. The first thing would be to require that proceedings against persons 14 to 21 years of age originate in the criminal division of the Superior Court if the person is charged with human trafficking, trafficking a regulated drug, or carrying a dangerous weapon while committing a felony. Hmm, that's new. Number two is uh, to prohibit a house from human trafficking, selling or dispensing drugs and stuff like that. So uh, they're gonna stop like uh, crack houses and whorehouses and stuff like that because who would vote against that, right? Then here's where they start talking about guns. Number three is to prohibit possession of a firearm with a defaced serial number. Number four is to prohibit straw purchases of firearms. Again, that's illegal already too. Number five is to prohibit the possession of firearms by fugitives from justice. So that's people who have warrants. Persons subject to final relief from abuse and stalking orders. So that's the boyfriend loophole. And persons charged with human trafficking, trafficking a regulated drug, or carrying dangerous weapons while committing a felony. Number six is to provide that conduct constituting the offense of carrying a dangerous or deadly weapon while committing a felony be considered a violent act for the purposes of determining bail and also to revoke your Second Amendment rights for life, make you a prohibited person. Seven, to prohibit possession of semi-automatic assault weapons by persons under 21 years of age. That's the meat and potatoes of this, guys and gals. This is a rifle ban for adults aged 18 through 20. While this is being fought across the country and being called unconstitutional, Vermont, the safest state in the union throughout the millennia, is saying we need to ban rifles from these people because crime is crazy. Look up the numbers in Vermont, guys. Number eight, 
to make juvenile case records and files available to the National Instant Criminal Background Check System for purposes of conducting a background check when a person under 21 years of age purchases a firearm. And there you have it. After passing the bipartisan Safer Communities BS, there you go. That's the enhanced background checks for adults aged 18 to 20 where they're being discriminated against specifically because of their age. And number nine is to establish a grant program uh, for com it's a community program. You don't need to know really about it other than they're going to take $10 million out of the general fund, your tax money. They're going to steal that, give it to these community uh, programs if there's a rise in like violent crime and drug trafficking or human trafficking. Now, human trafficking takes place everywhere. Drugs are everywhere. Crime is everywhere. Anywhere there's people, all of that exists. But this is Vermont. This is a backdoor gun grab. It's a ban on people aged 18 to 20 just because of their age, and it's enhancing background checks so that more people become federally prohibited. And all of these little crimes that they're putting in are changing here or there, little tiny tweaks to make them violent acts so that more people become prohibited persons. That's what you're dealing with. S4, this type of stuff, I knew it was going to happen eventually because all eyes were on Vermont for a long time because Vermont started this whole constitutional carry thing. And if they can bring down the OG, then they have a battle plan to bring down the rest. And if you don't think that the anti-gunners are trying to do that, guys and gals, you're not paying attention, especially with what's going on lately. This is an all-out attack on our right to keep and bear arms, the right that they don't give us, and the right that they will not take. I hope this uh, wakes you up a little bit on a Saturday morning. Check out Blackout Coffee. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. No matter where you live, no matter what dotted line on a map you cross, your rights are your rights. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.